What's up guys, Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. Hope you're all doing good, man. If you're excited for today's video, drop it a like, comment down below, you can see by the title what it already is. I'm excited to get started, I'm excited to see where I'm at, and let's get it. Started. <laughs> So the reasoning behind this, guys, is because I have been out of leg work for um, a month now, right, at, at least. Um, and to be honest, it's getting in my head, not being able to do anything um, at all. You know, I've been going on the bike, I've been doing some very light extensions, very light curls, your basic kind of stretches, you know, just stretching the general area, not just the quad or like, you know, the hamstring, stretching... Well, just my legs in, in, in general, really, because it is an area that, that I actually struggle with. You know, I have very tight hamstrings, and all of these kinds of things can actually contribute to the kind of injury that I've had. And so, in this kind of rehab phase that I've been having, it's been very irritating, and if you've ever injured, you know, your leg, your knee, your, your quad, like, whatever, if you've ever been injured, well, for anything, then you know how irritating it is. And I think today, I've just got to that point where I can't take it anymore. <laughs> I need to do something because it's getting better, it's getting there. But is it 100% ready yet? Let's find out. so easy for me to use this period and, and get really down, oh, I can't train legs, and don't get me wrong, it's been really annoying and, and quite irritating, and there has been times where I thought, oh god, I, you know, I could do with training legs today, my upper body needs a rest, and I just had to take a rest day when I didn't want to, I felt like I didn't have to, but I, I, I did, I needed to, um, and sometimes you do have to listen to your body, sometimes you do have to do something that you don't want to do, you have to take a rest. But take that rest time, plan something out, be productive, be structured with what you're going to do. I've actually planned this a lot more than, than most people think. Because um, believe it or not, it's been going around in my head a lot for the past few weeks. Sort of whether I can train legs, whether I can't train legs, etc, etc. That among many other things I might add. But don't use the time and let it get you down, don't let it get in your head. Use that time as motivation moving forwards. <laughs> You know, it's weird. I feel like I'm almost overcompensating. I feel like I'm actually squeezing my glutes at the top and overly focusing on using my left leg, which is just actually detrimental. I need to be using, obviously, need to be using my left and, and right leg evenly, right? I feel like I'm focusing on contracting my glutes, contracting my left leg and, and just keeping my heels on the floor, you know, standard squat form, right? 
I feel like I'm focusing on my left side too much and that's actually overcompensating for it a little bit. I just need to relax. I just need to do it. I'm letting it get in my head, man. I'm doing what I said not to. Focus, Liam, come on. God. Much better. Feeling good. legs in a month. Let's see where we're at. Take it easy. I'm not trained legs in a month. I have warmed up for about 45 minutes, close to an hour actually, in fact. 150 Kilograms. Let's do this. No music, just me, you, and the weights. <sighs> Come on, then, Liam. Let's go. Ugh. Messy rep, but I shifted it. I wouldn't advise this, people. But I want more. I want more, man, I want more. One of each, let's go. 70, 110, 140, 160. Look how pretty it looks, man. <laughs> Let's do this, man. Let's do this. Feeling good. Feeling strong. No music. Me, you, the weights. <clears throat> Didn't feel right. Didn't feel right. Relax, reset, and go again. Fuck! Ah! 
I've got that in me, man. I've got it in me. Sometimes when you're going for a PB, you just need some M&M, man. Sometimes, guys, you just gotta take your losses, man. You just gotta take your losses. Not today. Not today. I'll tell you what, though. Freaking hell, right? I took a minute, taking a minute, reflected upon what the fuck has just happened. And let's just put this into perspective. I have not trained legs for a month. I have been worried about my knee for a month. I have crap knees anyway, right? I've had in the past, but this was slightly different, right? And I've come back for my first freaking session, hit squats, hit 150 kg, bailed out on 160, yeah, but like 150 kg at this weight is a PB. I have never hit that amount of weight. I have never squatted that amount of weight at this weight. Guys, I didn't train legs for a month and I hit PB. <laughs> Mindset, people. Mindset. Said it about the bench, I've said it about the shoulder press, now I'm saying it about the freaking squat. You see that 160 kg right there? Yeah, I bailed out. Twice, man. I bailed out twice. Sometimes you just gotta cut the losses, you know, you gotta accept. That's not happening today. But 150 kg at this weight? 183 pounds? 100 freaking 50 kilogram squat? After not training legs for a month. It's all in here, guys. The way you interpret what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, is everything. The way you think about your session, the way you think about your diet, the way you think about what, just life in general. It's massive. Mental perspective, mental everything is in your head. Everything. I've never told you guys this story before, right? But I actually, when I was back in college, I went to college with you know bodybuilders, powerlifters, and I was just a small skinny guy, like skinny rugby player, stage one of my transformation that you guys have seen before. And I used to have these little blue dumbbells in my bedroom, right? I had in my head that these dumbbells were 10 kg. And so when I was before, way before we bought the power blocks, anything like that, I just used to do curls. Curls, overheads, and like lateral raises and stuff in my room. That was literally just what I did over and over and over and over and over and over and over again in the hopes of actually developing some form of bicep, right? And so I had in my head that these dumbbells, these little blue dumbbells were 10 kilograms. So when we went to college, we were doing these tests, we were doing muscular strength, muscular endurance tests, stuff like that, the usual kind of stuff that you learn if you do like, you know, sports science or just anything kind of sporting related, right? So we were doing these tests and everyone around me was curling, doing a ton of pull-ups, and I was just there like, shit, Liam, you gotta perform here. But then like, one of the biggest guys in the room got like 50 curls with, with 10 kg or, or a lot of reps, but I had in my head from doing these 10 kilogram dumbbell curls in my room that I could do 50, you know, 25 on each arm, 50 curls in total with 10 kilograms. Little did I know that these little blue plastic crappy things in my room were four kilograms. Four kilograms. I used to do 25 on each arm. I used to do 50 curls. I had in my head that they were 10 kilos. So when I went to college and did the curls, I was like, right, I've got these 10 kilos, actual 10 kilo dumbbells. I have to do 50. I have to do 25 on each arm. And I freaking did it, guys, because my mindset 
was I can do this at home in my bedroom. I can't embarrass myself. I can't not do the same amount here. I have to prove myself to these big bodybuilders, these big power lifters and stuff like that. You know, not that I had to prove myself, but that was how I felt at the time, right? And so obviously it was only 10 kilos. These guys were deadlifting 200 kilos at the time. So it was no big deal to them. But to me, I felt so good. And when I realized that I was only curling four kilograms at home, I thought, shit. That was when I really realized how important everything is up here. Whether it's in, in the gym, in, in a sport, at uni, at school, up here, so freaking important. And needless to say, after I realized there were fours, there were four kilos, we went and bought the power blocks. And I started towards the actual 10 kilos of a bicep curl. And that is why I could not train legs for a month, come back and hit a 150 kg squat. I can come back and hit a freaking PB. Yeah, I bailed out on the 160. I'll hit that next week, or the week after, or the week after that. I don't know, it might be a few weeks down the line, but I'll freaking get it. PB at this weight, 183 pounds, 150 kilo squat. It's all up here, guys. Every single thing. Right, so I'm gonna carry on with this leg day. I'm gonna shove the camera away now. I'm gonna just drop the weight, do some reps, really focus on the contraction. Um, just stimulate the muscles, getting the blood pumping around my legs in general. I'm going to finish up with some cardio and I'm going to tidy up my losses because look, the rack is pretty much bare now. How weird does that look, man? So uh, I'm going to clear that up, get on with the session, head off to work a little bit later. It's going to be a good day. I can feel it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so freaking much for your support. I cannot wait to see what the future holds. Is it time for a new series? Is it time for body power? Is it time to release some t-shirts? Who knows? Only time will tell. Thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please, if you haven't already, drop a like, drop a comment down below and subscribe if you are new to see me smash that 160 kg squat. We are also well on track, well on track to smash 100 kg shoulder press. And my God, I'm gonna lose my shit when that happens. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once more, drop a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you are new. Thank you so much. Together, we will grow. Let's do this, guys. Let's smash the rest of 2019. I will see you in the next one. Yeah.